first rays of the day in the new valley of the sun, our star would have an appointment with me in a few hours of the prepping nature. We're jumping right into an intermediate prepping topic today, fire. It is a critical concern for any long-term situation and even some short to mid-term emergencies. There are lots of ways to prep in terms of fire generation. This list is not comprehensive, but everything from magnesium blocks and other spark strikers up through matches, lighters, mirrors, lenses, and up to the more complicated and even technological fire starters. It has long been our contention that fuel runs out like matches or lighter fluid and the sun is going to last longer than those or the power needed to run more sophisticated devices. The problem with the solar power is that most magnifiers are not quite strong enough for a broad range of circumstances and the refractors like mirrors are either too large or fragile to be practical. If you have been to a recent conference of ours, you probably remember Dennis. He's a fairly diverse individual, and at this year's conference, he handed me a Fresnel lens. It was a strange, ridged sheet of clear plastic. I had never seen one or heard of it before. But the idea is that it has the concentration power of a large magnifier, but in the smaller size of more traditional ones. In less than 10 seconds, the morning sun was able to begin to set fire to a block of wood. No question this thing works and can create a fire, and it takes up about the same amount of space as a sheet of paper. Just for good measure, here's our test run on paper, just for the purpose of seeing how fast and accurate you can be with this lens. Important to note that the focal point is bright and you do need sunglasses to do this. You can burn yourself or set fire to just about anything around you, including furniture and your home, so please use caution. This specific lens is from United Nuclear, and it is somewhat perplexing in its power if you're not looking closely. Some motion makes the lens effect easy to see, however, that's just the sheet moving, and not the bullseye underneath that you saw moments earlier. But here's where the real magic is. Over on the right side, those concentric lines illuminated are not an optical illusion. Those are indeed the ridges, and while at the edges of the sheet it sort of looks like the lines could be straight and or parallel, they are in fact rounding about the center, which is what allows this tiny sheet to create such a powerful focal point. Now don't get me wrong, in our family prepping stock we do have matches and lighters and fuel and magnifiers, but... At the size of a sheet of paper, this certainly seems useful, and at 12 bucks a piece, I went ahead and got a few more of them. Always good to have extra, and this would be a pretty good trading piece if you get yourself into a bartering situation. That advice can apply to many prepping items, however. Don't burn your house down, wear shades, prep up, eyes open, no fear, and be safe everyone.